Hi Capricorn, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here for tuning in. Sorry, I looked at my husband because we were just cracking up about other random stuff, so. <laughs> I looked at him one last time like, you stop it. <laughs> Oh, but hi Capricorn, welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here, for tuning in. Yeah, yeah. I'm Valencia <laughs> with Valkyrie 3 Tarot and with Spirit. We're just gonna use a goat too. You know, we're, we're both actually we're both goats. And so in our charts, not like sun goats, uh, sun Capricorns, but uh, we might as well be though. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, as you we, obviously, I'm a goat. I show up every day to work. I can't I can't not work. I'm a workaholic. Okay, we both are. Anyway, Capricorn. Um, hello. Let's see what's going on with you. All right. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising in the North. Notes, of course, it's not going to resonate with all of you. But for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel. Another fellow goat <laughs> at um, Possessed777. And I do offer same-day personal readings for $20. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. All right, Capricorn, thank you. All right, Capricorn, let's see what's going on here. I'm going to get all the cards out first, Capricorn, and then I'll tell you what I see. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. And I was going to say, interesting, you might have Gemini in your chart or, um, <laughs> maybe you, maybe you and Gemini are dealing with the same sloppy person. And I'll tell you why, if you listen to Gemini, if you want just for the hell of it, because it was kind of, Gemini was disgusted with someone trying to be like a whole player and like use lust and you're someone and they were, they ended it with like a, like they're a married person, like they're a family person and they realize, uh, -uh you know, for, for what's going on with you and with who's here, uh, Capricorn, I see here. Oh, that's so crazy. Top of the deck, the Ten of Cups, which is what ended with Gemini upright. Okay, really nice. Um, there's someone here that keeps trying to literally homewreck you and who you're in a marriage or relationship with. And if it's not that, you're someone that has standards and values, okay? Okay. Now, not to shit talk on men or women who show their body for money, okay? Or try to use lust and sex and all that. It's just, it's old. We've seen ass and titties since the dawn of time, right? And this is your perspective. You're like, I, it's nothing new. Give me something with more depth here. And it's kind of like because someone decided to use lust and kind of hoe around thinking they were trying to get you, it made you realize it ba basically someone acting a damn fool, okay, with their cheeks out, made you realize who is the person you rather marry or be with, if that makes sense, or you're better off just single on your own. And it's someone at your job. It's in the workplace. And maybe... You used to collaborate and work with them and they're obsessed with trying to find a way to get close to you again. Because overall, this is someone that, and this is that's not for all of you, but I do see that. In general, whoever this is, this is someone that is, you know, a few things here. You used to work with them and be part business partners. Um, this is someone that you may not, you know, they're jealous or like they're like at the workplace or they're doing toxic stuff or they're trying to create toxicity on purpose and you're just not falling for it. They could be copying, cheating, like your idea, stealing your ideas in the workplace, like that kind of energy that I get. They start out as a freaking karmic. So it's like full blown, like they're, they're not meant to be even in your life near you at all. They weren't meant to in the first place and they keep trying to get involved and stay involved. And this is what's caused them to not accept the message, accept the bad news. You know, um, it's making them very irritated and aggressive and annoyed with you. And it's caused them to 
um, maybe you had to block them, okay? Um, or they're just not, you know, really truly willing to be enlightened and uh, motivate themselves and inspire themselves. That's what made you commit to you, a path in your life or a different person, or you've been in a marriage or relationship. So because of that, it's made this person emotionally, you know, not be able to walk away from you and they need, you know, and not disconnect and they need to and they're not. And so it caused you to want to fight for yourself and take care of you and your plans and what you got going on. And so last minute desperate attempt, they tried to use lust. Okay. And if it wasn't that, then they're very hateful and spiteful and aggressive and they don't like you and whatever, irritated, you know, and annoyed. And it's because they have no passions in their life. It's made them, once again, you may have blocked them full blown, but it's made them feel completely blocked off and confused and indecisive, not being able to make a choice. But it's a, it's a choice where they just don't want to go a different path, a specific path they have to go on. They keep fighting it. And so then they get aggressive and defensive towards you because of that. And they're playing the victim when they know damn well what they're doing. Once again, this makes you realize who is better to go to um, in terms of a long-term partner and commitment marriage relationship or you're already in a marriage or relationship. For some of you, you realize you found a better friend, right? Um, a lot of you, whatever this is, it's an emotional choice for you that you're choosing to do or be. That fast, it's made them very irritated, unhappy, miserable, and mad at you. Now, here's where it gets really messy. For some of you, this is someone that has their own marriage and relationship with someone else, and they're trying to literally be with you when you are single and or in a relationship with someone else. So it's very messy. And, you know, they're not willing to trust themselves. They're becoming unfaithful and you know, their spiritual or religious path is just not there. It is a sham. It is confusing. They don't even understand. They don't want to listen to themselves. Um, you know, they're spiraling with their emotions, okay? And you're aware of it. You may have had a conversation with them. If not, you're well aware of what they're up to and what they're doing. You have more clarity within the situation, right? And so for you, you just choose to continue to have a good time, celebrate, you know, party. There's a lot of amazing, successful, fun things going on here for you, okay, in life. Um, and there's a lot of wonderful things to be happy about. And that's what you're doing. You could be reuniting with other people, right? And whatever that is. And maybe it's a friend, you know, whatever, but you keep from a distance or something. But that's made them become more irritated with their plans. It makes them not want to really work that hard or try that hard with whatever they need to do and just kind of stay stuck there. All right, you could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. All right, thank you, bye.